Now in high definition, from Western North Carolina's news leader, this is News 13 at Noon. Two young girls allegedly murdered by their own mother are being laid to rest today at a South Asheville funeral home. News 13's Merritt Youngdeer joins us now with more. And Merritt, have you heard from the family? Gross Funeral Home says the family requested that no media be present at the girls' funeral and were honoring their wishes. Eight-year-old Gia Patel and four-year-old Pia Patel are lying end-to-end -end in pink and white cloth-covered caskets inside the chapel at Gross Funeral Home on Long Shoals Road in South Asheville. Family and friends are gathering in a celebration of life of the two girls who police say were killed with a hatchet by their mother, who was apparently suffering from a debilitating mental condition, possibly postpartum depression. The girls, who are wearing traditional East Indian attire, are lying in open caskets where mourners will not only file past to pay their respects, but will also be gathering red rose petals from four large baskets to disperse inside the caskets. The funeral, which began at noon, will continue until around 2 p.m., at which time their remains will be removed to Calvary Churchyard in Fletcher for burial. And at this time, the Patels have stated, quote, that they would like to sincerely thank everyone for their support, thoughts, and prayers through this trying time. Frank? Well, there's another remembrance for the girls tonight, a community gathering behind Oakley Elementary School at 6 o'clock. The American Red Cross is holding a blood drive.